On the Starship show this week, changes bring more space to the galaxy modelling system and a special treat arrives in the Magellan conference room. There have been some changes to the way the Galaxy and Starship Simulator is generated in the last few weeks which could have a huge impact on the longer term vision for the game. As part of some optimization work on the Galaxy generation code the entire galaxy has now been essentially re-centered ensuring that the supermassive black hole at Sagittarius A star is the absolute center in Sector 000. It does mean the whole galaxy likely shifted around your ship if you're playing in the development build. While we're talking about Sagittarius A star, the black hole itself which is about 3 days travel in real time to reach in the game has been replaced with a fully handcrafted volumetric version. As part of the great galactic rejig the first code to handle some extended stellar object types such as L, T and Y class stars, T tauri, wolf rayet, neutron white dwarf stars and even rogue planets was added and further groundwork code to define some test political states for galactic sectors such as independent, single large empires or two factions at war etc was also installed. The current test nebula in the galaxy have also been rescaled to make them significantly larger at 100 light years across and they've had their visibility toned down somewhat to make them more realistic in nature. Perhaps the most significant change encompassing all this however is that the galactic halo of the Milky Way now extends out to a terrifying 326,000 light years and Dan Govier has stated that this change alone means that the game now has more than enough room to encapsulate the Milky Way's two satellite dwarf galaxies, the small and large Magellanic clouds at 190,000 and 160,000 light years away from Sol respectively just in case one galaxy wasn't already enough for you to explore. A fun new feature has been added to the Magellan's conference lounge situated just down the hall from the bridge. At one end of the large centerpiece conference table the room features a large screen. Whilst it's very much a test feature and almost certainly subject to significant change in the future that screen is now functional and is capable of displaying YouTube content <laughs> if fed with a valid URL. Sadly the system can't yet handle live streams only pre-recorded content meaning you won't be able to watch one of the development live streams about Starship Simulator live from within Starship Simulator. You can however watch them once they're over and you can of course watch this video talking about the video player in the game from within the game on that same video player if that's not too meta. As the Unreal Engine flexes its muscles the screen reflects beautifully on the ceiling and table surfaces as it plays and also features directional sound. It's particularly effective with the lights in the conference room switched off. To use the video player simply click the load URL button on the left hand wall by the screen and then hit Ctrl V to paste in your desired YouTube URL and then hit play. After a few seconds the video will load and begin playing. Have you made it to Sagittarius A star in the game yet? Have you watched a video in the conference room and did you even perhaps watch this video in the conference room? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to directly support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join us on Patreon. That's it for now. Clear all moorings, thrusters to one quarter, helm, take us out.